Before you go shopping for a house, it's important you get pre-approved for the right mortgage. Today I'm going to be talking to Scott Grubb of Cardia Mortgages about how to do that. For 20 years, I've been dedicating my best efforts to helping my clients get the most for their homes in the shortest amount of time. In 20 years, I've learned a lot and I'm learning more. Get ready to share with me. Welcome to The Pete DeYoung Show. Hey, Scott. Hi, Pete. <laughs> Scott, you've been a mortgage broker for how long? I've been a mortgage broker for six years and I worked at a major bank for five years before that. So okay. I've been in the mortgage world for 11 years. Okay. And why the switch from, be, from being at a bank to being a mortgage specialist or a mortgage broker? Well, when you go directly to the bank for a mortgage, you're dealing with somebody that's employed by that bank that's selling that one brand and okay. that one bank's product suite. Right. As a broker, I have access to lots of different lenders, so I can look at lots of different mortgage products. And that's on the qualifying side as well as the product and rate side. Mm. And I'm also licensed by the Real Estate Council of Alberta to give advice on mortgages. Okay. So I can uh, I really enjoy shining a light on those important parts, the fine print in the mortgages, and helping people understand what they're getting into. Right. Right. Okay. Awesome. So basically, when you're working for the bank, you're working on their behalf. But as a mortgage broker, you're working on the client's behalf. You're working, you're looking out for them and for their best interests. Right. Is that fair enough? Yeah. So yeah. I get to educate them and, and basically help them shop their mortgage around. Okay. Awesome. And do you sometimes get better rates that way too than, than you would through a bank? I do. So the mortgage broker channel gives me access to mono lines. Okay. Mono lines are banks. Mono meaning one. Right. Banks have one line of products, just mortgages. Right. So they don't worry about RSPs or checking accounts or yeah. anything like that, which allows them to do better mortgage products. Right. So often that means that the rates are better and the features are better as well. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So when when I when I send a client to you, if someone says I want to buy a house, and I say, okay, the first step is let's get you pre-approved so that. You know, not only do we know that we're not going to have an issue once the the offer has been written, but also we're going to have a clear idea as to how much it's going to cost in terms of interest rates and, and what your payments are going to be and that kind of thing. When I send them to you or if they go to you on their own, what are they? What should they expect to, to do? So the first thing I like to do is set up a discovery call. Mm -hmm. and it's a quick 15, 20 minute phone call and we'll chat about where you're at and where you're trying to get to. Right. And it can give me an idea of, of what kind of mortgage you would qualify for and what product might be a good match. Okay. And it can also give you an idea of, of how much mortgage you'll qualify for and what kind of price point you'll be shopping at. Okay. So that's the first step. And then the second and third step of a pre-approval is to check your credit and collect the supporting paperwork. Right. So once we've got that all done, we've got you set up. The pre-approval is a bit of a dress rehearsal for the final when you write an offer on a place. Right. You, you've got an idea of what you're going through. Yeah. And we've got you pre-approved, we've got you set up with a maximum purchase price so you have an idea of what your monthly payment will be and yeah. what kind of house you can buy. And then we can go out and shop with confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where do you, because I'm sure you get asked this every day, probably twice a day, but where do you expect rates to be going sort of in the next six months or the next year? So right now the rates are falling. The okay. Bank of Canada cut the overnight lending rate, which means the banks will be cutting the prime rate okay. by half a point. That's substantial. Pretty big drop. Yeah. So variable rates will be going down half a point. Home equity lines of credit will be going down half a point. Hmm. So the variable rates are, are going down this week. Yeah. The fixed rates have been falling as well. Okay. With coronavirus in the news yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and affecting the economy everywhere. Yeah. Uh, rates, the fixed rates are dropping as well. So. Right. So probably a good time to be looking for a mortgage, really. It is. It's really cheap money. Yeah. And it, it makes your overall purchase cheaper. Okay. In the long run. Awesome. Scott, thanks yeah. for your time. If somebody Thank wants you. to get a hold of you uh, in the next little while, you have a phone number or a website? What, how yeah, should people you can, get a hold of you? You can call me at 587-433-8329. Or I'm sure you can ask Pete and he can give you my email address. Yeah. And do um, you have a website? Scottgrub.com. G-R-U-B-B-E. G R U B B E dot com. Scott Grubb. Scott Grubb. And Scott's got two T's. It does. And your last name is two One T's. S. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Pete. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, click here. If you have any other questions or would like some more information from me, comment down below or text me at the number at the end of this video.